The decline of the Chozo around the cosmos opened the path for humans and other races to work together and colonize a number of planets for their resources. One of these was K2L, a lush and green Federation mining colony where Samus Aran was born in the year of Cosmos 2055. Samus's first years were good, but these abruptly ended with space pirates under the command of Ridley raided K2L. The marauding space pirates were ruthless, sparing none of the colonists. That included Samus's father, colony leader Rodney Aaron, who blew himself up on the invading space pirate flagship, and mother, Virginia Aaron, who protected three-year-old Samus from Ridley's deadly claws. Luckily, a member of the Chozo race, Old Bird from Zebes, rescued the orphan child. Over the next years, Old Bird, Gray Voice, and the biological supercomputer Mother Brain took care of the child. They infused her with Gray Voice's Chozo DNA, subdued her to inhumane Chozo warrior training, and granted her a custom-built organic power suit, a relic of their militaristic past. With her training complete, the Protector of the Galaxy left the Chozo and joined the Galactic Federation Police a division of the Trade and Military Federation set up to combat the marauding space pirate raids on cargo vessels in the year of Cosmos 2003. Samus stayed as an officer of the Galactic Federation Police for a short while, but was soon convinced by Commander Adam Malkovich to join the crew on his Galactic Federation battleship. The reason for this transfer was tied to Samus's brief return to Zebes when the planet fell under the control of space pirates after Mother Brain betrayed the Chozo. A confrontation which resulted in the death of Old Bird and Gray Voice. The latter after personally confronting Mother Brain and making a last stand against Ridley. All so that Samus, who shared Gray Voice's DNA, could escape to her new home, the Galactic Federation Army. At first, it seemed as Samus had found her place, befriending Coast Soldier Anthony Higgs and Adam's brother Ian. However, the individualistic and restless space warrior was an outsider who refused to settle. This became apparent after a failed rescue mission killed Ian. This unfortunate incident led the young warrior to abandon her post and pursue a career as an independent bounty hunter. Over the next years as the hunter, she cemented her position as the most feared bounty hunter in the galaxy. Sorry, Boba Fett. Eventually, a Federation vessel fell victim to Metroids while exploring SR-388, and another team was sent to secure the Metroids for research purposes. But this one was raided and killed by space pirates who brought them to Mother Brain for harvesting. A series of Metroid attacks against the Federation followed, but after extensive searches, the Federation managed to track the pirate activity to planet FS-176 Zebes. An invasion was launched. But when this one failed, they summoned Samus Aran for her Zero mission. The bounty hunter arrived on the grim and desolate surface and quickly realized that Mother Brain and the space pirates had turned the planet into a vicious fortress. Angered by this fact, she did not look around, but fought her way down to Brinstar's volcanic depths and defeated Ridley's comrade, Space Pirate Kraid. The commander of the Space Pirates, Ridley, was notified about Samus's presence, headed directly back to Zebes, and encountered the bounty hunter in the depths of the caverns of Norfair. By delivering the final blow to the Space Dragon, Samus Aran had finally avenged the death of her parents. Despite expecting strong opposition from the Space Pirates at Turian, she was shocked to find the Space Pirates massacred by Metroids. Seeing the threat the Metroids posed, she sorted them out and progressed towards Mother Brain and launched her entire arsenal of missiles until the self-aware biological computer was no more. Samus evacuated the underground facilities Following the destruction of the pirate base, a dogfight ensued where the hunter was shot down and forced to crash land. From the wreck of her Genshin, she sneaked through the pirate mothership to the ruins of the ancient Chozo temple, Chozodia, blew up the pirate mothership, and escaped from Zebes by stealing one of the pirate fighters. The mission was accomplished. 
However, three other pirate frigates filled with Metroid specimens, Orpheon, Soriacus, and Volparagon, were still in Zebus' orbit and managed to retreat from the planet. Over the next few months, pirate activity declined to a point where the bounty hunter had to traverse the entire galaxy to find new contracts. This state of matters would lead her to a distress call from a space station orbiting the unknown planet Talon IV. It was the Orpheon, with its imminent meltdown and destruction of its reactor core, she was faced by an unprecedented She was shot to retreat from the planet. Over the next resurrected space dragon down to Talon IV and discovered
I only have one set of batteries currently um, available to be used right now because they are charging. So it's hard for me to use a mouse that doesn't have batteries in it right now because I'm using them in the controller instead so that I could actually play some more frames. Which, by the way, I just uh, put an argon crystal into the research of the Nikana that I've been wanting. So, that's going. And there goes Yang. Well, not Yang, but Jazz. Sorry, it's, I'm so used to Yang, like you being the one that disconnects and then... Comes uh, back. Let me connect <laughs> this time. Okay. Hi. Mm -hmm. If it's on your page, as I said, don't question it. <coughs> oh, by the way, Jazz. Mm hmm. You're going to absolutely hate the daily on um, Nightwave. What is it? Glider. Kill 20 enemies while aim gliding. It's like, mm -hmm. it took about half an hour for me to do it on fucking uh, um, Allied V. Ah. Yeah, I used his mission to uh, get it because I'm stubborn like that. <clears throat> but uh, there are uh, the weeklies refreshed. The weeklies refreshed. So there's huh. Eximus Executioner where you have to kill a hundred Eximus. Ah. <clears throat> there's Defense where you have to complete a defense mission reaching at least wave 20. And then there's um, Venus Miner, mine six rare gems or or in the Orb Valis. Unlock relics, which is unlock three relics. I hope you realize I'm never going to Orb Valis again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Protector, which is complete three mobile defense missions. I don't know, I'm never, ever going to Orb Valis. Earth Bounty I'm Hunter, just, I'm just which is buy whatever complete I can get from five her. different bounties in the Plains of Eidolon. And uh. Conservationist, which is complete six different perfect animal captures in Orb Valis. <laughs> Never going to Orb Valis. <laughs> yeah, so... Finally enough, the two that I really don't want to do either... Are the same two that you're going, I don't want to go to our palace. So, <laughs> works out. Minus the fact that uh, I still have the uh, Planes of Idol on one. Which you probably don't want to go there either. <clears throat> uh, Planes of Idol on, I can lag through it till it's, you know, working, right? Yeah. It was the. You can watch the video for yourself and see how you sound. See what I mean? I have to change a couple audio settings for it. This is just a screen. This is just like a uh, picture I took with Will when he first took me to the Medbots world. Do you send a link to it? I do. Okay. 
Okay, let me just open Discord on my phone because silver, now silver. I can't do it on PC right now. Yeah, anyways. Silver Cerberus Gaming. Oh, you upload the, uh, like, the one you sent was the, uh, Test. one with the double. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, it's because I had Hear Myself on my voice modification. That's why it was doubled. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it was tripled because of, uh, freaking Discord, uh, not Discord, uh, VR chat, right? Just completely un understandable, like, incomprehensible, even, you know? And I can't get that one back because I deleted it. <laughs> yeah. You can... I'm not downloading Reignited to send to you as a ROM. Yes, I can get PlayStation ROMs. I can get every kind of ROM there is. Mm -hmm. I don't know who this Twin Symphony system is. I'm plural system means I share my body with oh, another. Oh, by the way, um, not a spirit, etc. Person I share my. Fight. So, jazz. Yeah. Would you be all right with uh helping me do something? What exactly is it that you need help with, Z? I was wondering if you could uh, help me grind some Argon crystals. I just need two. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay. Hey, I'm gonna help you, need but only after I upload this avatar that I'm gonna send an image of, okay? Okay. Okay, it's called the Dommy Mummy. Okay, like a Dommy dude. Mommy, but it's a mummy. Go. Go. Oh god, I just thought of a... It's the just... Dommy Mummy. Get it right. <laughs> oh my... <laughs> Yeah, I don't have many undead avatars, so I want to feel what it's like to have rigor mortis go throughout my entire body. You know, by the way, uh... Hmm. No, I didn't, because it broke. Like, the download broke. I have to start it up again. Eh, pff, I paused it for too long, and then it's like, oh no, we're not going to let you do it. Okay, Z, what was she gonna say? Um. I don't. I don't know what I was gonna say, honestly, anymore. That's the problem right. with me getting interrupted. I have a question. The fuck is this thing? It says kindred, but I can't remember what a kindred is. Oh yeah, um, now I remember what I was gonna mention. Okay, um, Jazz? Hmm? Would you like to know what I did earlier today? <sighs> As sure. in, like, about half an hour ago now? Yes. 
Can I please talk without being interrupted for once in my life? <sighs> Thank you. But, uh, what I did about half an hour ago was basically play Candy Corn Roulette. <clears> hmm. <throat> yeah. Oof. I know what Candy Corn Roulette is. Oh, no. <laughs> My mom bought this $3 pack of candy corn that was um, in flavors of different pieces of a uh, turkey dinner. <sighs> Most of them were good. There was... Nothing. <sighs> there was one that I put in my mouth and immediately after taking the bite into it, I had to throw it in. Like, I had to spit it back up into the trash. Actually, like, mm. I just... <gasps> wow. And yeah. then there was a different one that I also didn't really like, but it was like... It was... The easiest thing for me to compare it to is like that um, black toffee almost flavor. Like, it's something that you don't really like, but you uh, can like at least truffle. swallow it. <laughs> White truffle? Mmm, so good. Black truffle. Ugh. A truffle is a mushroom, by the way. Ugh, I hate mushrooms. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a very rare mushroom that can only be found by using a pig. Uh, I'll send you the link to the kindred. Or, you know, I could just I could just send you the kindred file. How big is it? 34 megabytes, so I'll have to email it to you, but still. Unless you have Telegram. Like, if you have Telegram, then I could just... Uh, not anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> Like, the login has been lost to time. <clears throat> I know, but, like... Uh, my computer can only handle so much rendering. <laughs> I'm currently rendering a couple Blender projects right now. You just made me think of one thing, and I think you purposely did it. Yes, just I to did. Fuck with my mind. I, yes, I did. Well, not purposely to fuck with you, but more because it fit. My computer can't handle the rendering. Oh, that's so, so cool. cool. So, so cool. cool. <laughs> my computer oh, can't so handle pretty. the rendering. So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> oh, God. I just thought of a uh, uh, three way fusion. Like, for the voice, anyways, it just, uh, <laughs> popped into my head. Probably wondering what it is. It's... Kronk... Markiplier... and McCree. <laughs> the McCree just threw me off, like, what? <laughs> Ain't good. Ain't bad. Hey, Kuska. Bad sure as hell, ain't ugly. Couscous. <laughs> There's go. Don't ever call me Couscous. <laughs> Whatever you say. Couscous. <laughs> <laughs> Where? What? I swear to God, if you're signing up for shit when you don't need to. Oh. <clears throat> it wouldn't be in spam, I can tell you that. So, 
would you like to know what my login bonus of last night was? Sure. A Nyx blueprint. <laughs> Not Nyx Prime, just Nyx. Nyx blueprint. <laughs> it's like, okay, game. Uh, thank okay, you for Mr. the random Bumble. blueprint. <laughs> Oh, Nyx is a girl. Oh, yeah, right. Nyx is a girl. <laughs> Half the time I forget because, frankly, I don't pay attention to Nyx basically at all. So cool. Who the fuck is Frozen Candy? Candy. 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 No, I sent... Alright. So yeah. I forwarded the attachment to Frozen Candy. After I forwarded it to Newman... No, it, Newman was the first one I sent it to. <clears throat> okay, so I sent it to Frozen Candy, then Newman... And then Amber Nicole. I've sent Hoonie Pop 1 and 2 through email. Okay. So it's not my business email that I'm trying to find your email on, Sylvia. So yeah. I know I didn't use my personal email because I'm not crazy. Still need five jackal. Well, not jackal, but um, juggernaut kills. I don't know why I said jackal. Hmm. Jackal. The yet favorite say spider. Why not? The water spout out. Down came the goblin and knocked the spider out. Sure. The 94 Platinum. I replied to something where I gave you the Warframe MSI. <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
part, import the scene wolf, or, or when you upload it. <coughs> he will be there, he's supposed to be there, so don't freak out, just... <coughs> okay, so he's supposed to be in the floor, got it. <clears throat> I've been uploading I I had been uploading Avatar's Love last night <clears throat> whoops so <clears throat> when I got to work right I have like this laptop that just kind of sits on my desk it's supposed to be so I can, like, message my boss if something bad happens with the floor, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, not the floor itself, but, like, we call the entire bottom floor the floor, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, if a machine breaks, I'm supposed to message my boss and stuff like that, right? <clears throat> that was the Warframe launcher. <clears throat> but ignore that. I have sent you the file for the Kindred. Okay. <clears throat> that is sad. That is sad. I am sad. <laughs> Mr. Popo! <clears throat> Popo! It knows better. <laughs> it just knows better. Popo! No, I'm not calling you, Remy. How the... Why the hell did you respond to Popo, Remy? It just knows better. <laughs> uh... uh... <clears throat> No, as long as you have your email password. Well, what what account? What's the, as long as you sign in with the account name and have the password, you can. Uh, yeah. It says Silver Bane, and then whatever you had just. pillows. How many times do I have to say this? Stay off my pillows! Stay off my pillows! <clears throat> it just knows better. It's so funny how your uh, <clears throat> dog, I believe, right? Yep. Or, yeah. Your dog just responded to the like, oh. <laughs> It's just like... I'm gonna scroll through our chat and find where you sent it. Imagine you literally just saying Popo for every searching.
Ah, I found the password. <clears throat> well, I'm just going to copy what you messaged me, right? And I'm just going to paste it in chat. Okay. <clears throat> I accidentally recorded the times too. Whoops. <clears throat> Here's the exact message that you sent me. Silverbane one. And then your password is blank, 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 blank. I don't know I don't I don't know if you need the four four nine six one one. So I'm gonna delete that. I mean, if you can. <clears throat> hmm? I don't know. I don't have a Xbox controller. I don't have an Xbox controller, so I wouldn't know. What are you doing, Dodo? <laughs> po po. Oh, it listens to your name? <laughs> no. It just knows better. Well, if you have a uh, Bluetooth on your computer, then you can hook up through Bluetooth Sync a Wii remote. As long as you have internal Bluetooth on your computer, and then you turn it on, and then you hit pair, you know, like search for a device while you're pairing with your controller, they link up together, and then you have to go into your settings on Dolphin to <coughs> get them to work. Otherwise, you can't use the controller at all. Keyboard and mouse. I mean, it's suggested. Dog, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Yo, what is up, YouTube? Oh, oh. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use, you know, play Wii games without a Wii remote. So, basically, I have my PS4 controller hooked up. There's going to be a couple things that you need to do, and all these things are in the description. Basically, you're going to want to have Win or I think it's DS4 Windows. Yes. You want to set, uh, shit. You want to set this up, you know, like you normally would. Popo says, here. "Get off me." Um, you can look up for a video right of that because I'm not going to set it up because it's pretty off. obvious. Um, so yeah, you, I think it already has most of it set up for you. So once you do that, you just want to set it up, plug it in, of course. <coughs> And you just want to minimize this, and then go back into, you know, your desktop, and then start start up SCP server. Basically, what this does, and then once you start it up, just click that, and then it basically it's going to route it to your, um, your Dolphin 5.0, or whatever you have. And so, yeah, it's going to put it onto this, and then 
now that you can, you know, use your Po po. No, don't look at me when I say that. Get off the bed. See, My no. job is to make college easier because students have a lot on them. Oh, sorry. To start with, Wiimotes use Bluetooth. To oh. find out if your computer oh. has Bluetooth, like said, click the arrow in the system tray and look for the Bluetooth icon. If you don't see this icon, Try turning Bluetooth on. Right click the start menu and click settings. Then go to Bluetooth under device with all the performance you'll need. Just make sure that it is in fact Bluetooth version 3.0. Do you know you have Bluetooth? Open your Wiimote and hold down the red sync button. Then click add a device. Continue holding the button down. It may take a few moments for the device to pop up. When it does, it will be listed as Nintendo RVL-CNT-01. Select that device and click Next. There's no passcode for this device, so just click Next. Once the dialog disappears, you should be connected and can now let go of the sync button. If your device failed to connect, simply retry adding it. This should fix the issue. I told you this. Double connecting the Wiimote, download Julian Lore's HID Wiimote installer by going to this link in the description and downloading the 64-bit option. Then find the zip file you just got and extract it. I would suggest making another folder to contain the files. This is what I did and it worked for me, but unfortunately I can't entirely showcase the process because I don't know how to completely undo what the HID Wiimote installer has done, so you'll just have to take my word for it. And do this process if the ordinary control is connected to the computer, your Wiimote will continue to flash until there is a program that can take advantage of its input. If you open Dolphin right now, your Wiimote will automatically connect if continuous scanning and real Wiimote were previously selected under the controller settings. If you check off continuous scanning now, it should also connect. Otherwise, to connect a Wiimote to Dolphin, open up the controllers, select real Wiimote as the controller option, check off continuous scanning, and simultaneously press the 1 and 2 buttons. Then click refresh. It's possible Windows may try and set up a device, so don't worry about that. Your controller should vibrate briefly and stop flashing once successfully connected to Dolphin. Nunchucks will automatically work with functioning Wiimotes. Just use Bluetooth, it's that simple. As I said, the Wemo only works if you use Bluetooth. Happy birthday! It was your destiny to pick up the legendary Master Sword, but you were too young to tackle this journey, so I sealed your spirit away inside the sacred realm while Ganondorf took over everything on a ten bucks our money, probably. I'm not sure if it's ten bucks our money, but seven ninety nine in um UK. Oh no. I think I messed up the and, prophecy. And uh, they are having oh, well, a we can fix this. Uh, of go find the other sages so we can save Hyrule. Ah. Yeah. Because they've never tried candy corn before. So that's what they're doing Just to fix it. I don't know. I've never used an Xbox controller on PC as I've said. I don't use Xbox controllers on my computer like everyone else does. Uh, 
Okay, there's a... There's one rule I would like to let you know. Okay. Like, I want your opinion on this rule, too. The rule is, pizza is pizza, no matter what shape it's in. Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now, before we begin, let me preface this by saying... The reason I'm mentioning this is because I remembered this chat I had with a friend a while back, where it was like, oh, if I paid you, like, 20... to say, it's pretty impossible. It can be done, but the motion input support, the motion plus input support on Dolphin isn't very good and it's pretty much impossible to play so i'm not going to be recommending it for that yeah, so sit back relax get your no knickers out of the hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's just dive into it shall we unless it's in the shape of a tesseract then you so can the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the it's control section shape. in dolphin go to the bit where it says emulate the wii's bluetooth adapter down here and click wii remote one make sure that it says emulated wii remote and click configure then in the device section, click the X input zero gamepad, or it will say one gamepad, depending on how many you've got there. If you input zero one, make sure that it says emulated Wii I mean, you can try to eat it. You'll just be sucked into a Wii's. black hole. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the controller section in Dolphin. Go to the bit where it says emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter down here and click Wii Remote 1. Make sure that it says emulated Wii Remote and click configure. Then in the device section, Yeah. Click the X right. input zero gamepad, or it will say one gamepad, depending on how many you've got there. If your Xbox controller does not appear, then click refresh. Make sure that it is connected. Click refresh, and it will appear in this section here. Next, you're going to want to go over to the extension bit here and make sure that Nunchuck is selected. And then it'll open these things here and deselect Attach Motion Plus because we don't need Motion Plus for Super Mario Galaxy 2. Our Motion Plus support with Dolphin is pretty experimental and not very good at the minute anyway. For the buttons, the A button, you're going to click that and then press the A button on your controller and it will assign it to button A. And to make sure it works, A button on your controller. For the buttons, it's pretty... Let's attach Motion to the extension bit here and make sure that Nunchuck is selected. And then it'll open these things here and deselect Attach Motion Plus because we don't need Motion Plus for Super Mario Galaxy 2. Our Motion Plus support with Dolphin is pretty experimental and not very good at the minute anyway. For the buttons, the A button, you're going to click that and then press the A button on your controller and it will assign it to button A. And to make sure it works, press button A and it will go bold every time you press button A. Now for the B button, the B is kind of like the trigger that you shoot the stars at, so you're going to want to attach that to the right trigger. For 1 and 2, I use X and Y. Then for the minus and plus, I use the start and select, or the start and back button as it's called on the Xbox controller. And then for the home button, I use the left analog stick in. So I push the left analog stick in for the home button. So for the D-pad, you're going to want to set the D-pad on your Xbox controller, so up, down, left, right. And then if you want the rumble motors, if you click on the motor section, select motor L, click on operators where it says R, and select motor R, click select. And it should look like this, motor L, the line down the middle, then motor R, click apply, and then click test to make sure that's working. And my <laughs> controller is rumbling. Next, we're going to want to click the motion simulation section, and the shake bit is for the jump, the shake jump. So I'm assigning this to the right bumper. So whenever I press the right bumper, it's going to simulate shaking the remote. So X, right shoulder, right shoulder, right shoulder. As you can see there, every time I press the right shoulder, it simulates a shake on the remote. The point section, I just use the right analog stick. So where it says up, you push the right analog stick up, down, left, and right. 
And then to hide it, I'm going to use the right analog thumbstick. And now, as you can see, every time I move around here, and if it isn't working or it's going too fast, then you click the calibrate button and move your right analog stick slowly around this section here. As you can see, it draws a circle and click finish calibration. And that should help with the sensitivity issue. Next, we're going to want to go to the extension section. And now we're going to configure the nunchuck. So we'll use the left analog stick for this. So it says up, left analog stick up, down, left and right. As you can see, as I move it around, the red dot moves around too. Now you can calibrate this too by clicking the calibrate button and slowly moving the left analog stick all the way around. Click finish calibration. And that should run a lot smoother. Now for the C and Z buttons, I put the C button to the left shoulder and the Z button to the left trigger. The left shoulder, left trigger. And that's all you need to do for most of the game. So let's fire up the game and see how that runs. So now as you can see, Mario is running around pretty fine. He's jumping. I can move the motion support around with the right analog stick. It is extremely sensitive, so that is something you're going to have to get used to. I haven't really seen a fix for that right now, but if you focus and concentrate enough, it is very, very easy to control. And if I want the right analog stick to go away, I just hold in the thumbstick and it will disappear. If I press the right bumper, then it will simulate the shake, as you can see there. One of the things you might find difficult when playing this game is using Yoshi's tongue with the right analog stick and the right trigger but with enough practice it does become relatively easy and the beautiful thing about this game is that you only need to hover near it for Yoshi's tongue animation to work. As you can see I am pretty much bossing it right now. It's not as perfect as precise as having a remote nunchuck configuration but you can get through most of the game like this. So once you've confirmed all that's working, you're going to save that profile. So exit the emulator, click controllers again, go down to the bit where it says configure again, configure the emulated Wii remote, type anything you want into here. So I'm going to go for Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy standard and click save. And that is going to save my configuration. Now that's going to get you through a lot of the game where there are points where you're going to need to use the tilt mechanic and you're going to need to use separate profiles for that. So you can alt tab back to this bit and change the profile to it. I have two settings for this, one for the ball and one for surfing. So for the ball one, let's take a look at that. And that changes the tilt animation to the right analog stick. So when you tilt forward and tilt backwards, like you're supposed to on the ball, then you can control it using the right analog stick. So let's see how we get there from the Super Mario Galaxy Galaxy standard one that we have here. So you're going to want to load your Super Mario Galaxy standard one by going to the profile section, clicking your new profile, clicking load, and it'll load it back up. And then go back to motion simulation. And here where it says point, you're going to want to middle click on your mouse to clear all of this. And then on the tilt bit where it says forward, backward, left, and right, use the right analog stick. Now when you use the right analog stick, it will sim simulate tilting the Wiimote. It is not advisable to do both of these at the same time, which is why I use separate profiles. Once you've done this, go to click to the bit where it says profile here and type in the name for it, ball two. I'm gonna put ball two because I've already got one saved and click save. And the other profile that you're going to use is for surfing. Now this one I have set up so that when you tilt, when you use the left and right triggers, it will simulate tilting left and right. And when you press the Y button, it will simulate tilting forward. So to make this one, you're going to want to start from a fresh profile again. So where it says reset, click clear. I've got button A and button B. I can attach them to A and B. And then the start button here, just in case. The D-pad, up, down left and right on the d-pad and then in the motion simulation section went forward to be y and left and right to be the triggers and here on the point section we put up down left right on the right analog stick and then for the shake i put the shake on the x button and then for the extensions again on the nunchuck we use the left analog stick so up down, left, and right, and then calibrate to that, so it works fantastic again. And then the C button, I use the back button, which is also the select button or the share button on the PlayStation controller. And then for the Z button, I use the left shoulder.
<laughs> Anyways, we'll wait for my computer to stop being a bitch. Uh, Oh, am I back on uh, PC now? No. I don't know. Hello. Guess who just found a Kennedy 50 cent coin in the line? So, so uh, I'm uploading the Dami Mummy, right? And, uh, I really want to be able to tell you because my computer's not fucking working. I had to go to Discord on my phone. Are you sure you're doing it right? Yep. That is so incompre incomprehensibly small. Did you get it? Did you get it from a uh, Metroid Prime trilogy is on PlayStation, right? Oh, the Wii. 
So did you get it from a Wii ROM site? Or where did you get the ROM from? I've never used killer ROMs, so I don't know. Well, I'd be able to show you, but my computer's fucking frozen because I'm uploading a goddamn dummy mummy, and I'm gonna have to go through this twice, uploading it onto your account. Which is exactly why I wanted you to upload it. When you asked, I was probably disconnected. Because, you know, it's stupid shit. Metroid Dread is a continuation of Metroid Fusion. It's a direct sequel to Metroid Fusion. I knew that. I was just explaining it because I thought you didn't. Anyways, people are going to get upset at you if you do get Metro Dreads wrong before actually buying it on the Switch. Since Metroid Dread is a very new game, it's a kind of legal, like, almost black area, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, you get a cap get a capture card for the switch then hook it up on your tv run the capture card to your computer and then stream from there yeah people can't stream from uh can't start can't stream from the light yeah but you can't get your video dmca if you do that
because it is technically illegal because the game did just now come out and you didn't buy the game. You have to wait a year before the ROM, like, before using a ROM is legal. Yes. <laughs> I'm not letting anyone touch my devices. Even even if I'm in a relationship with them. No. Even even if I'm in a relationship with someone, I'll never let them touch my devices again. Bad experience. Bad experience with an ex. I'm not going to let anyone touch my stuff again. Hmm. Oh, you know, my computer is not working. That That's fun. Yeah, when you try to upload a file as large as the Dommy Mummy, um, it kind of fucks over your computer if you're doing literally anything else. Because it has just, like, that much data inside the model. It's fucking over my computer right now. Which is kind of why I don't want to upload it onto another account. It's because of how goddamn long it's going to take to again upload. You know, it's weird. So I went to the Poyomi Pro uh, Gum Road, right? And uh, so on the Gum Road, it has every version of Poyomi except 7.3. It goes up to 7.2.6. But I have 7.3, you know? We go to Teshub, right? That is weird. So, like, remember the last time I went Argon hunting and got, like, eight Argon crystals and couldn't use two in the end?
Yeah, my computer started working again. Yay. Yeah. Remind me to never upload this goddamn avatar again. Oh, God. I just watched someone open up a spider sack with their bare hands. Uh, someone fucking... Okay, okay, so someone uploaded a video into the chat, right? Titled, Hell Nah. I click on it, and oh, hell nah. People fucking hide this shit. What? No, there isn't. I've massacred any spider who's walked into my room so far. No, there isn't. Yes, I'm sure. I've laid literal acid outside of my windows on my windows if a spider walks near my window I have a motion sensor on it that will drop acid onto my window no no I have like this uh, protective sheet over it it's fine but still if a spider gets within the vicinity of my window <laughs> 